it's Karen and I hope you guys are having an amazing, beautiful spring weekend. I am excited. This is going to be kind of a special video. I'm going to share with you my Starlux makeup collection. It was requested by Velma and I really appreciate the request because I have been wanting to show off at least my Starlux lipsticks and now I have an excuse to do so. I have been pulling everything together and it turns out it is completely out of hand. I can't believe how much stuff I've accumulated. I subscribed to them back in October of 2012. Starlux has a subscription service in addition to just being an online makeup store, but if you're not interested in joining their subscription service, you can buy past boxes for only $25, and you can just buy stuff in their store, and they tend to have really good coupon codes. There's one going on I think till the end of May right now. It's probably Ipsy20 for 20% off. I have a lot of ground to cover, so I'm just gonna hop right into it. A lot of their products are discontinued. I'm not gonna bother swatching anything out that I don't love or that isn't available anymore. If you see this and you're like, Karen, why don't you swatch this other stuff? Just let me know. I will be happy to do like a follow-up video or send pictures or do whatever. But one thing that I have way too much of from them is their eyeliners. I don't actually wear that much eyeliner. Uh, but they have introduced me to a lot of colors that I love. I definitely wear it more now than I used to before Starlux. Their Kohl eyeliners are $12, their regular eyeliners are $12, and their awesome, awesome, awesome gem eyeliners are $14 worth it. I only have their Kohl eyeliner in Obsidian. I do find it a little bit dry and hard to put on, but it's, you know, just a black eyeliner. I'm wearing it actually right now in the waterline on the bottom. From their regular eyeliners, they have brown and gold and blue, which is now discontinued. They don't have that color anymore. But my favorite, which they do still have in their shop, is Vineyard. And this is kind of a grapey burgundy color, and it just, oh, it's beautiful. I think it goes really well with a lot of the palettes that they send out. So this one I do like quite a bit. But of course, the star of the show is their gem eyeliners. These are just phenomenal. They're all currently available. The green one is fancy, and I actually wore this as a lipstick when I was an alien for <laughs> Halloween last year, and just stunning, stunning green. Absolutely love that. The next one is Myth. This is a nice one, too. This is perfect for, like, every day because it's a nice dark color. Just so smooth and creamy. Mirage is really fun, too. This is a lot brighter, though. They have really loose caps. As I'm doing this, they're all falling off and it's cracking me up a little bit. But that is a nice, like, bright silver. And these ones, they actually smudge out really well, so you can wear them as eyeshadows, too. And then this one is Amethyst. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and it is also stunning. I don't use this one as much because it's just a weird color for an eyeliner, but it does make a good, like, smudge it out and wear it as an eyeshadow color. And while we're on eyes, I love their potted eyeliners. They're phenomenal. These are only $13 in their Einlon shop. Some people use them as eyeshadow bases, but I find they're a bit too heavy and sticky for that. But they just glide on like a dream. My favorite one was the first, in the first box I ever ordered. This was August of 2012. And this is Sculpture. As you can see, I have loved it greatly. Just gone through a ton of it. Unfortunately, because it's so old and I don't think there's a good way to sanitize a gel, I really need to toss this out. However, I have the good fortune of having a duplicate. They renamed this Wild not too long ago, and they included it in, I think, one of the boxes that they sent out. So I have a nice, fresh, new one. The only one that's a little bit trickier is Black Hole. This is a matte finish, and it does take a little bit more work to get it on because it is matte, so it's a little bit drier. But it still has that same fabulous effect, does not budge, just stays where you put it. It's really dark. I love it. The other colors I have are Orion, Milky Way, and Princess Diaries, which I believe is called Orbit now. They're fabulous, but they're a little bit odd, so I definitely don't wear these every day. Moving on to the pigments. Their pigments are really, really nice. I make a huge mess with them. I think it was Lizzie Josh had a tutorial with one of these where she like just executed it perfectly and didn't spill it everywhere. If I can find that tutorial, I will link it down below. But if you're good with pigments, I definitely recommend these. These are wonderful. They're $17 each. And I have their regular pigments in the colors Posh, Tungsten, and Cinnamon Toss. Cinnamon Toss is now called Black Gold, and I'm not sure about Posh, but I think it might be Noble just from looking at their website. 
and I'm currently wearing tungsten on the outer part of my eye, and I just, I, I really like it. I also have a couple of glitters, which I really like. There was an exclusive uh, BB pink glitter that was sent out in a birthday box, and there is the emerald glitter that we got, I think, in August of last year. Technically, you're not supposed to use these near your eye, so I'm not going to tell you that I have, but if I did, it was lovely. Moving on to eyeshadows, I do have a handful of loose ones. Most of them are no longer available, and I don't really use loose eyeshadows because I love palettes. They're so convenient. I have so many of them. This was the first thing that I bought from them. It was in caricature. But who needs single eyeshadows when you have all of this? To be fair, their eyeshadows are definitely not my favorite product from them. Starlux eyeshadows can be a little bit fussy. I read this whole big spiel about how you're not supposed to put your fingers in them because it hardens the formula, especially for the mattes. And I like to touch my eyeshadows, especially if I'm just doing like my brow like line or something like that. I just stick your finger in there and just swoop. It's just easy. And the other problem that I have with their eyeshadow palettes is that they are packaged so horribly. Horribly. They charged $41 a piece for these, right? But it's... the quality is exactly like a children's watercolor palette. It's... there's that little white plastic grade school thing with the little watercolor pans. It is just awful. And like, the inside part is loose. I got one of these in a FabFit Fun box, and as soon as I opened it, the inside part swung right out. And it's the only eyeshadows that I've ever owned that tend to shatter on me. Uh, this I didn't drop this or anything that I know of. This was just sitting in my makeup holder that I use every day, and I'm like, what is all that black stuff everywhere? And this was one of my favorite palettes from them, and it's not as useful now. I used to use the black as an eyeliner, and then this end as a brow highlighter. It's perfect, but... Yeah, I definitely am not fond of their eyeshadow palette. But that being said, of them, Morocco is my favorite. But it is just sort of a um, neutral color slash naked palette slash simple. It's got a good blend of, uh, there's like a matte in there and some shimmers and a little more glittery. It's just, I really like the way that they combine different textures and finishes with their eyeshadows in the palettes. And this is just so simple, easy to grab. This color in particular, this is a matte, it reminds me of, I think, the actual Urban Decay color Naked. And it's just, you can just put that on your eyelids and you're done! With the exception of Tokyo, which is a brand new palette that they just released, this one with the pretty green, these are actually all still available in their shop. This one just came in our April box and I'm loving it. This uh, color here does have a lot of sparkle, which is getting into my eyes a little bit. But I'm enjoying that a lot. I put that all over my lid and then I just add like these two colors and sometimes highlight a little bit with these. Just gorgeous. This one's Monaco. We got this late last year. It was either October or November. Lots of fun colors. I don't use them very often, but I am using this one right here today over most of my lower lid. Saint Tropez, of course, is right here, the one that I destroyed. And just a good pretty color combination throughout there. And this one was a bit of a bummer for me. This was Stockholm. And so I've always jonesed in after this, and with a coupon code a month or two ago, I went ahead and ordered it. And it's pretty, but I don't know if you can see it. Like, the green on the end here is faded and discolored. That's this one up here, where the bottom part is like a different shade. So I haven't even really used it. It's bumming me out. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this one is just kind of an old... Oh god, this video is running so long. Once a year at their December palette, they send out the $99 palettes. This one was from last year. It is just fun, outrageous colors. I don't use it very much. It's very, very loud, very, very inconvenient. And of course, it's cracked because it's a cheap packaging. This one is actually much nicer and it's still available. It's their New Year's Eve. And very, very pretty colors, very, very wearable. I don't use it very often again, just because the eyeshadows aren't my thing. Oh, and the name of this one is actually still available on their site. I think this is called Mardi Gras. But I better keep cracking. On to the blushes. This is what I use the most based on convenience. This is a eyeshadow palette 3, or blush palette 3B1. They sent this in a box late last year and it is gorgeous. Just a lot of variety. It's convenient to have three handy, so I just keep this one out. That being said, my favorite blush from them is the Cream Blush in Emphasize, which is now called Merlot. 
And this bad boy is just gorgeous. And you can use that on your lips. You can use it on your cheeks. I know it looks dark and scary, but I'm wearing it now. It flushes right out when you blend it. It's just fabulous. The cream blushes are $17. I also have it in French Connection, which is a nice Barbie pink. I'm not sure you'll even be able to see it. There, you can kind of see it a little bit. It is very, very pretty. Very, very pink, pink. Very, very fun. And then I have their old Cutie Peach from last year. It's not available anymore. I do also use the Brow Compact very often, but I wouldn't entirely recommend it. The colors are like really, really hard and weird. But it's $21. This is BS, um, BS1. And it does work. I'm using it right now. So it's functional. You can fill your brows in with it, but yeah. One thing that I do use every day and love is their mineralized powder. This is the translucent white one. And literally I use it every day and I've had this for like a year and it's still like full. This stuff lasts forever. It's, I got like half a thing left. It's fantastic. And just sets your makeup beautifully and you're good to go. And another thing that I use almost every day, even though it's not even my favorite bronzer, this is in Montego Bay. I forgot to look this one up and hopefully they still have this available, but it's a, it's a nice color. It's a bit shimmery, so it's not for everyone, but when I want to have just like a big, I just take a big brush and just kind of swoop it over, give myself a little bit of warmth, I think it looks really nice. Now I'm going to spend about three years on lipstick, so I'm just going to do everything else first. Brushes, I'm very, very, very fond of their small brushes. This is their small dome fluff brush and I use this all the time. Anytime I'm using like a dark color and I want to have a little more control because it's nice and small, I use this one. Here are their slanted angle liners in 844 and 824. They're critical when you're using their gel pot eyeliners. They're just phenomenal. And this is their small precision brush in 813. It's also really great for just doing some detour detailed work around the edges and do a little crease work. Fantastic. And now for some things that I didn't like so much. Their bigger brushes, I hate them so much. Do I use them? Sure, just about every day because I mean I have them so why not. But this it's just ugh. all I did was just like run my hand through it and it, sh it sheds like a beast. I can't really complain. I won this one in a contest. This is their 925 and I don't even think they ever put it up for sale on their website. But I just hate, you know, using it and then going through and just picking the hairs off of my face afterwards. This sculpt and blush brush I have the same problem with it. I don't know if it's just their bigger brushes aren't made quite as well as their smaller ones. I don't know what the deal is. And this one came in an actual box and it just, I mean, it's it looks like one of my cats chewed on it a little bit. It's fraying out. I haven't had problems like this with other brushes. I admit I'm not the best at taking care of them. I just use sample shampoo packets to wash my brushes, but I feel like they shouldn't be falling apart like that. I might run out of time for lipsticks and have to put them in another video, but I wanted to talk about a couple things that I love that I don't have handy here. I did love their face primer, which is only $15. I had won that in a contest and I eventually had to throw it out because it was lasting forever, like so much of their stuff does for me. And this sanitation issue was starting to get like, there's no good way to clean it. It was a pot so you dip your hand into it. But it was phenomenal, just very smooth, it really improved the finish of the foundations that I used over it and it helped them to last a long time. So I will probably repurchase that at some point and I do recommend it to anyone looking for one. I have sensitive skin, it never irritated my skin at all and I didn't smell any fragrance in there. It was wonderful. And I also really liked their regular mascara. It came in this giant like baton and it was a bit of a drier formula so I probably wouldn't repurchase it but it worked really well. I really liked the finish and I liked the brush. It was gigantic, like a giant Christmas tree. And the one thing that I miss the most that they discontinued and it broke my heart is their HD Fluid Blushes. These were absurdly pigmented. You just put the tiniest dab on your finger and you could do like your whole face for a week. It was fantastic. And unfortunately they discontinued it like as soon as they sent them out in the box. It was very, very sad. I only had time to, to go in and buy like one. And that was, that was the end of those. Anyway, it looks like I've run over by, oh, 15 minutes. 
So I'm going to have to edit this knot out of what I've done and do the lipsticks in a part two. If you guys have any questions about any of this, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous, fabulous day. Bye.